Nigeria's main one cable company has concluded the shore end laying of its undersea fiber optic cables in Lagos, Nigeria and Accra, Ghana, respectively. The shore end cable laying is a critical intermediary procedure to install the undersea cables on the shores of countries in which the cable system is expected to berth. This in, in preparation for the end-to-end -end laying of the full stretch of the fiber optic cable from its origin in Portugal. To tell us more about the project and the benefits to Ghana and Nigeria is Funke Opeke, CEO of Main One Cable Company. Funke, thank you very much for joining us on Regional Roundup. Funke, are you on schedule to be operational by June 2010? Yes, we are. Um, as you just mentioned, the shore end work has been done. Cable manufacturer and most of the equipment is already completed and in final testing stages. And uh, we are looking forward to starting the main lay operation later this year through the beginning of next year. Our cable stations are very much advanced to receive all the terminal equipment and interconnect customers. And we will be on air in June of next year. We know the market for international fiber is going to be very competitive uh, with four new cables scheduled to be operational by 2011, main one obviously being one of them. Would this tr translate to competitive prices though for your consumers? Um, obviously, we believe we bring um, a strong value proposition to the market. We are an open access cable and we really um, launched the project with the objective of providing shared infrastructure for private operators across the continent. What that means is previously where some of these operators did not have the opportunity to participate in some of the larger consortia that were putting cables together, they can come and work with the main one cable and know that they would get fair and transparent pricing based on the volume of traffic that they are able to generate. And so first, that is our value proposition, that our objective is to fill up our cable with traffic at the lowest possible cost to each operator. And that operators indeed do not have to go and invest or tie down their capital um, in building their own infrastructure where they do not get the same economies of scale that our cable system is able to provide. So that's, that's a key differentiator for us. Um, and in addition, we believe our service focus um, and overall value add in terms of understanding the requirements of the operators, both for basic capacity as well as value added services will differentiate us in the market. So as I understand, you've already attracted tier one company customers being an independent cable. Do you think this puts you at an advantage in terms of pricing? And what will those prices be come 2010? Well, um, yes, we have um, attracted tier one um, operators who have a requirement um, in this part of the world and actually from other parts of the world who want to connect with Africa, who are signing up for capacity even before the cable is available. We believe it gives us a clear advantage in that uh, they have started the process of working with us to reduce prices in this market. And as more operators sign on to our open access cable, uh, we can drive those prices down even further. Uh, so we believe that is a lasting advantage um, to us and to the market that would enable us to drive pricing. Mm -hmm. And to the extent that we're here in 2010, um, where some other initiatives are yet to launch, um, we think clearly uh, there is an opportunity um, to build and invest in those relationships. And, and we would argue uh, that um, whether or not all of the operators would invest and tie down their capital in consortium cables, something that's yet to be seen. Talking about consortium cables, uh, most of your competitors chose the model of going into partnerships. And as I stated earlier, as much as you've alluded to as well, you, as main one cable, you are independent. Are we likely to see you going into key partnerships with further connectivity into Africa in the near future? Um, yes, and we are starting those discussions. Uh, we are bringing international capacity to the continent. And what we would like to see is a reduction 
of inland capacity, um, both within countries and across national borders um, to increase the level of integration mm -hmm. and trade and reduce the cost of doing business within the region um, and actually build on those relationships between neighboring countries. So we are looking at operators who are putting in such infrastructure, already have such infrastructure in place, and to leverage their networks for further distribution into the hinterlands and also into landlocked countries.